hi guys so today we're going to be making a trending boo you see on your screen today that easy to wear outfit that you can just put on and you're ready to go so basically what i'm doing here is i'm measuring my fabric now i have two yards of fabric now if you're a size c size eight you can make use of two yards of fabric but if you are from 10 upward i'll prefer you to make use of two to three yards of fabric you know for just for that fullness and that um flexibility so basically after i measure my fabric i folded it into four now i'm trying to arrange my fabric so that the fabric can live very flat as you all know duchess can be very very stressful especially those duchess that those duchess that just tend to move anyhow so i folded my fabric into four as you can see me doing it's folded into four and i'm basically measuring it so what i have is 19 inches after folding it into four so after doing that the next thing i went ahead to do is to just measure your shoulder now it's just for a guideline so after doing that i went ahead to take my neck measurement which was two inches by one for the back neckline and two inches by six inches for the front neckline so basically after doing that you can see two inches by one two inches by six inches so that is for the front and back neckline so after doing that i went ahead to measure what i have left so i had 11 inches left after all the old measurement so after doing that the next thing i went ahead to do was to measure to mark out my waistline to mark out my um armhole line my hip line and my knee line so i'm just using that i'm just marking that using a dotted line so basically after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do is to start taking horizontal measurement so at this point it was my for my chest line i had it was my chest divided by four plus four extra inches allowance remember this is a bubu outfit then my waist divided by four plus four extra inches and hip divided by four plus four extra inches now for that hip measurement i went ahead to take it all the way to the full length of the dress so now from the waist measurement i added extra four inches apart from the four inches that i added earlier i added extra four inches to give it to give it a kind of design you know that you're going to see those um design that has us that do as if it has a butterfly effect so that is what now it depend on you if you have enough fabric you can add eight inches 10 inches 20 12 inches it depends on the amount of fabric you have but i didn't have enough fabric so i just added four extra inches so i took my hip measurement all the way down to the floor length and as you can see i added only four inches extra at the waist area and what i did was that i connected it down to the hip or knee line so it was not going down to the floor length it was just connecting it down to the knee line so as you can see me doing i used it using a dotted line to indicate it So after doing that i went ahead again i went over the old measurement on my fabric six inches for the front neckline i had 11 inches left so that is i'm using the old fabric like this so nine inches for my ham hole 15 inches for my waist and I had 24 inches for my hip line. So basically, I just slanted from the neck area I just slanted my shoulder by one inch and the next you just have to just to cut so this is a very very simple pattern there's no it is 
there's nothing so contradicting about it it's not so hard all you just need to do is just follow the basics and you know you are good to go now you can walk you can decide to create your own kind of pattern now because it's a free hand you can do what you want to do with your fabric so basically what i just did is just cut it now as you can see just watch me as i cut the fabric you can see that the extra four inches that i added was just only from the chest line down to the end just only from the chest line connecting to the knee area you can see it's having like that bat wind effect so i separated the front and the back and i cut the front neckline so at this point now because of the little fabric that i had i was supposed to at the front area i was supposed to add extra two inches for the um v um design that is there but remember i'm a size i'm a size six so the fabric itself was so much for me so i just decided not to add it now if you are a bigger size i'll advise you to add extra inches in two inches for the front flap so it's extra two inches for the front flap so you know so that your fabric could be even so but at the end of the day my fabric was still even even after i did not had it, it was still even so basically this is just the cutting of the dress so you can see how the effect is so at this point the sewing is not so stressful all you just need to do is to just join your two shoulder together you can see the front is separated equally join your two shoulder together and you sew so at this point you just have to sew the shoulder together you just join the two shoulder together as you can see me doing i'm so sorry this is so little blood but just please bear with me so after doing that you can see i've joined my two shoulder together and i've ripped it this is how it is i joined the two shoulder together and i weaved it so after doing that the next thing i went ahead to do was to indicate my arm opening so from that joint point i measured nine inches and i notched it so you're just basically just going to fold it round to that notch area and you repeat the same thing to the other side So after sewing it round, as you can see, I've stitched it round from one notch to the other notch on both ends and on both, sorry, on both sleeve. So what I did was at that area, I just stitched it down. So what you're going to do is just join the two sides together and sew it from that notch area. So. So as you can see, I'm trying to pin because you know working with touches can be so stressful. So you need to pin, please. You need to pin. If not, the thing will just be dancing around, just be moving around anyhow. So after pinning this, I'll go ahead and sew it. So at this point i've sewed it and i've also weaved it as you can see see my hand opening sewed it and i've weaved it so the next thing we need to do now is to sew the front now we need to stitch the front together so what i did was that i joined my two shoulder together 
After joining my two shoulders together, the next thing I went ahead to do was to measure 9 inches, 7 inches or 6 inches. You can just use any one of your choice. Now at this point, it depends on you. So, but what I did was I measured 9 inches for my chest opening. So from that 9 inches, I went ahead to measure 15 inches also down. So because it's going to have a slit also at the down. So basically at this point, I just pinned it together and I stitch it by half an inch to that area. So this will be my font. After doing that, I went ahead to sew the sides together. So at this point, I've sewed it down to where I marked. And you can see I have a lot of slits, like enough opening at my leg area. So I've sewed it and I've went ahead to also weave it. So the next thing I needed to do was to just press that side and also sewed it down and basically this is just what it all looks like you can see it's so simple so easy to sew you know and it's so lovely you know the outcome is so nice so also if you want to add if you want to have that snatch waist area from your shoulder you just went, go ahead and measure your waistline so if your waistline is 17 inches measure your waistline if your waistline is 15 inches you measure it just take your waistline now after taking your waistline the next thing you go ahead to do is to divide your waistline into two so instead of into four you divide it into two and you put two equal half so it will be two equal half on both sides so if it's if your waistline divided by two is 30 inch in divided by two is um 15 inches you measure seven and a half inches on both end and you sew a long strip you sew a long strip now your strip can be as long as 30 inches or 15 inches it all depends on you you just sew a long strip iron it and just attach it to that side now remember it is only in the front area and not at the back just only at the front area so you're just going to give that your front waistline that snatch effect so guys this is just basically how it is this is how this bubu is you can see it's very easy very nice you know and the outcome is so 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 lovely so guys thank you so much for going through with me i love you bye